The latest episode of The Owl House just released, it continues its trend to reveal shocking revelations and horrifying truths, but it also leaves a lot of questions. So let us dive in. First, a whole new island. So far in the story, we only knew the Boiling Isles. We assumed there might be some places out there, but we never saw it until now, a whole new island just hidden over sea, behind a portal. With unexpected transport, Luz, King and Hootie managed to get into Titan Trapper Island. A place far away from Bellows, and looking peaceful on the surface. Second, King is the last Titan. As stunning as it sounds, it is pretty shocking to everyone who finds out the truth. Never imagine such an adorable demon like King is a descendant of Titan. A magnificent creature who created and ruled the magic world. But what King wants is to find out about his family, so he is very upset to be alone again rather than being cheerful to be a Titan. FYI, since King is a Titan, his blood actually can help Luz build a new door. What am I? You're a Titan, King. Third, Titan hunting. People in the Boiling Isles, they worship and treat Titan as founder and god. But on Titan Trapper Island, people are different. They call themselves as Titan Trapper and worship the Collector, who is actually the opposite of Titan. They are like a cult which gets brainwashed by the Collector, and their sole purpose is to trap and hunt Titan. First, will be more islands introduced into the series. After the Boiling Isles and Titan Trapper Island, we just hope there are more out there. Another reason they went to Titan Trapper Island is to seek allies, considering they are almost fighting alone against the Bellows army. But new adventure turned out to be a total bust, then they are certainly going to need other allies outside the Boiling Isles. Second, is King's true identity safe? After they escaped, King used his new super ultrasonic scream to destroy the portal, and hopefully that is the only portal they have on the Titan Trapper Island. So the secret can remain on that island. But during the ceremony, Titan Trappers summoned the Collector, so there is a possibility that the Collector will find out the truth too. Then Bellows probably will learn about it from the Collector as well. Third, how will Ida and Lilith react to the truth? So far, Ida treats King like a kid, more precisely, her own kid. Protecting an innocent kid from Bellows is easy, but protecting a Titan from Bellows is kinda impossible. On the other hand, Lilith is a history nerd, she probably will be thrilled about truth, which can actually satisfy her curiosity. Fourth, will Ida and Lilith being captured? At the end of the episode, we saw that Kiki led Bellows' army to surround the house. Ida and Lilith they are smart, they would expect and prepare for the attack. But how two of them going to handle the whole army, especially when they both lost capability to use magic properly? And Hootie isn't at house as well. Fifth, will Jean-Luc be revived? Previously, at the tower where Ida found King, we met a creature Jean-Luc, who acted as King's guardian. Later, he was brought back to the Owl House, but sadly he cannot function outside the tower. But now, King probably will face way more danger than before, because of his true identity. So, will Jean-Luc being reactive again to continue his duty? Sixth, what is going to be King's next power? Previously, thanks to Hootie, King accidentally activated his ultrasonic scream. And since then he used his power more freely than emotionally triggered. And his power gets stronger every time. But as a Titan, we are sure his full potential won't stop it here. And his next new power can be even more deadly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, please click the like button down below and subscribe for more new videos.